Hey guys, you might know by now that the Palicos have a lot of different permutations on their moves and skills. So in this one, we've rounded up our top five Palico skills and moves that you should look out for. Make sure to drop a like down below if this helps you out and subscribe for more helpful Monster Hunter videos like this one. I'm Paradise Central and let's jump into it. So first up, we have the Pilfer move. Now this is an exclusive move to the Gathering class of Palicos, and it actually unlocks for them at level 20. It uses a boomerang attack that steals materials from the monster that it hits. And this is an absolutely great skill for speeding up farming, and we highly, highly recommend using it during your playthrough or for your farming runs when you're trying to craft those different weapons and armor sets. It is a really great skill and it literally gives you extra materials at the end of the quest, so 100% look out for this skill by picking a gathering palico. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Power Drum. This is a move that, to our understanding, is a global ability, meaning that any Palico can have this move in their middle move slot. It will unlock for them at level 10, and it makes your Palico sound off a drum to raise the attack and defense of your buddies, but also your hunter. Having more attack and defense in a hunt is always super useful, so definitely keep an eye out for this skill. And in our testing, as you will see on screen, this gave our hunter an extra 10 attack and an extra 63 defense. Definitely not something to miss out on, so keep an eye out for that power drum move on your palico. Now for this next one, we're going to switch over to the Palico skills. Each Palico, if you don't know, has five memory slots and a set of randomized skills. Each skill, depending on the strength of the skill, will take up a number of the memory slots. So you can mix and match up to a maximum of five different slots. We recommend that you look out for Status Attack Up. This uses three slots, however it will increase the potency of your Palico's abnormal status attacks. This is an incredibly helpful skill to have if you are using status weapons on your Palicos, which is our personal preference as we really like having those extra paralyzers or sleeps activate during the hunt without having to use status ourselves as the hunter. Furthermore, you should keep an eye out for skills such as Knockout King, that only takes up one slot and increases the likelihood of stunning and tiring monsters, as well as things like Attack Up, Crit Up, and Ranged Attack Up, which are all good options as well. For the next one, we're going to go back to the moves, and you are going to want to keep your eye out for the Shock Parison move. This is another global move to our understanding, which means any Palico can have a chance to know this, and it will be in the second to last slot of your Palico moveset. Your Palico will learn this move at level 15, and it quite simply allows your Palico to independently place down its own shock trap. This is incredibly useful in both solo and multiplayer hunts, as having someone else trap for you so you can have an all-out window of damage is very, very useful and handy. So having your AI Palico companion do this for you is an incredibly great thing in almost any scenario, so we definitely recommend you keep an eye out for the Shock Parison just to get those extra free traps out in your hunts. And finally, we had a very hard choice and were struggling to pick between both the Fighter Palico's Rousing Roar and the Bombardier Palico's Giga Barrel Bombay. The Rousing Roar on the Fighter class Palico is a level 1 skill and it lets your Palico do a fearsome roar that empowers both the buddies and the hunters. And like we said before about the power drum, any buff for the hunter is going to be absolutely great while you're out in your hunt. However, the Bombardier Giga Barrel Bombay is the level 20 unlockable skill for the Bombardier class Palicos and is hilariously funny and it is essentially your Palico running headfirst at an enemy, carrying a Giga Barrel Bomb on his head and then it explodes for big damage. Personally, I love the Giga Barrel Bombay ability. I think it's really funny. It's always a blast when you see it happen in both single player and multiplayer hunts, so keep an eye out for the Giga Barrel Bombay on the Bombardier class Palicos. However, if you are looking for those buffs, you might want to go with the Fighter class for the Rousing Roar. 
There is also one more Palico move that I had to include in this list as an honourable mention. It is the level 1 skill of the Gathering Palico. If the Pilfer skill that we mentioned earlier wasn't enough, the Endemic Life Barrage of the Gathering Palico is also incredibly powerful. It fires an Endemic Life creature from a Ballista at a monster and can inflict different status ailments on them. Essentially, your Palico will load a mini Ballista with a different type of endemic life toad such as the paratoad and it will then burst into a cloud of status ailment which will paralyze or do a different status ailment depending on the toad that he uses in a sort of aoe area of effect so definitely keep an eye out on those gathering palicos not just for pilfer but also for the endemic life barrage so guys, that's it, our top 5 Palico moves and skills to look out for. Remember that the Palicos actually roll randomly for both their skills and some of their moves, so keep an eye out at Iori in the Buddy Island for the perfect god roll Palico. If you want to learn more about this Palico system as well, keep an eye out over on the Paradise Central channel to learn more. Let us know down in the comments below what your favourite Palico skill or move is and why. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. Of course, drop a like if this video helped you out and subscribe for more helpful Monster Hunter videos like this one. I hope you're all staying safe out there. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 Paradise Central and Investmore streaming over on Twitch weekdays playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below and of course you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.